everybody, this is Sue with Salvaterra Pottery and we are going to make a soup and crackers. This is a quite a unique piece actually. I've seen some other folks make soup and crackers but I've never seen anybody make them the way I do. So I make it all in one piece and then attach this handle to it. It's so you can put your soup and it holds Oh, good two cups of soup, like stew, chili, whatever. And then you can put your crackers and your spoon around the rim. Um, great for chili and chips. Some people use it just as a sweet little serving bowl. But actually, out of, this piece is my assistant's favorite piece out of all the different pieces we have made over the years. So this is our soup and crackers. Um, you can see some more photos of it on, on salvaterrapottery.com. But let me show you how to make this today. This is a new skill set compared to everything else we have done because we're going to split the clay in half. And that's something I haven't shown you yet. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please subscribe uh, on YouTube or follow us on Instagram and pop over to our website and see all the wonderful products we make. But so let's learn how to make a soup of crackers today. All right, I've already weighed out my clay. And um, I use two pounds of clay for this. So um, I think I've told you before that I use this really cool bat system. And I have three different master bats. This is my middle size master bat. So I have a bat that this goes inside of. And this sets on the wheel in the pins, on the holes, and then this is the bat that pops out with each piece of pottery. My husband made these for me and it I can't imagine doing it any other way. One of the nice things about this is I weigh out my clay to keep our shapes consistent um, but the nice thing is, is because I have three different sizes it also helps me keep consistency on the width of my bottoms which is really, really helpful. So I always throw this piece on my medium size bat and it helps me keep the consistency from piece to piece to piece that I throw. So as I've told you in the past, I'm a production potter. When I throw pieces, I'll throw a dozen or two dozen pieces at a time. Um, our business is all about selling volume. Um, that's how we make a living. And um, so our pieces have to be quite consistent from one to the next to the next because we put a photograph up on our website and when folks order it over the internet they expect to get something that looks very similar to the photograph that we have sent or have put on our website. So that's one of the ways we keep things consistent. One, weighing the clay and two, my bat system. So let's get started. All right, there goes the bat. Here's our two pounds of clay. And we're gonna throw it down there and make it stick. And it's relatively center already, so here we go. I am actually gonna stop and adjust our camera a little bit because I can tell you can't see the bottom of my uh, wheel. So let me. I have my elbows anchored to my legs, which helps me to keep my hands from moving. And look at this position right here. This hand right here is against the side of the clay. This hand here is pushing the clay down to get this flat, I call it a pancake, shape that I like to start with. And it really helps me to center. My hands are locked in with each other with my thumbs overlapped. I don't have them apart because then they can go all wobbly wobbly. They're together. So, okay, here we are. I'm happy with how that's centered. And, like I always tell you, I keep my bottom edge clean. All right, so the next step is I'm gonna split this clay. And this is always um, kind of a guess, but after making hundreds and hundreds, I'm sure thousands actually, of these soup and crackers, uh, there's a cut and of a kinetic, kinetic memory. So I've created an indentation here, and then I'm going to push this over a little bit, and that is going to turn out to be the 
exterior or where the crackers are held. So now I've set that, I've set the base, where, how, where the base is going to be, and I'm uh, going to leave that and I'm going to move into my bowl part. So I've draw, drawn a hole down the middle, I'm working across, I'm doing it at a diagonal like this. I work on my bottom, and I'm going to start slowing my wheel down because I start with my wheel fast for centering and as I refine my piece I slow it down and slow it down more and slow it down more. So this is going to be the bowl, this is going to be the plate. All one piece attached. Alright, here we go. First pull on the bowl. Compress down. Now, right in here is where you can make the mistake of getting this too thick. And if you get this too thick, you've got a good chance that this piece is going to crack. So, I spend some time on making sure that I have right there at the bottom, I get that thin. Not thin, but, you know, not, not heavy. Let's put it that way. Alright, so there's a second pull on the bowl. And I'm going to now switch over to the plate part. Alright, so. Here, I'm going to pull the plate. Now, I'm going to run out, out of opportunity to get this edge down here clean like I like it in a minute. So, I'm going to make sure I do it now. I'm going to pull that plate again. And that, besides cleaning up the edge one last time, I'm going to lay it down. So, I just slowly push it down. There we go. And I push it down further than I want the final uh, way for it to look because as it dries, this rim is going to pop, pop back up a little bit. So I'm going to go pretty flat on that. All right. So that part is pretty much done. Let's go back to the bowl. I'm going to work on thinning that bottom area out a little more because I know it causes problems with cracking if it does not. Because what happens is, if it's really thick right there, it dries unevenly. And if it dries unevenly, it's going to crack. So, alright. I'm just going to refine this a little bit. I'd like my bowl to come up more like this shape. There we go. I put the swirl on the bottom, which almost all my pieces have. I'm going to run this across the rims. And that's the basic shape right there. Okay, there it is. But it's not quite the same yet, is it? Because this piece has the rim pulled up where I attach the handle. Because this is ample space around here to put crackers. All right, so how do I do that? I'm gonna do it right now. I'm going to pull this section up of this plate and push it against the bowl. So I'm just forcing it up. And then I rub kind of against it because I want to make sure it stays attached. All right. And then I usually help this come up a little bit because I've had problems with glazing um, sometimes if this is too flat right here. So, all right. Let's move this away from the back a little bit so I can get a good undercut with my cutting wire. There we go. Pull it out without messing it up, which I did touch it right there. So you can clean that up easily enough. Oop, oop, oop. After all, it's just clay. It's meant to mold. So, there's your soup and crackers. This is where the handle's going to go, up and around, cute little curl, and I'm going to set this aside. Tomorrow, it will get the handle on it, and then we will flip it upside down. So let's talk about drying real quick. So, the anything where I split the rim, where it's got two rims, and I do several pieces where I split the clay and make two rims, 
if you get these rims drying too fast and it gets way ahead of the base, I guarantee you these are going to crack. These crack more easily when it's got two rims than any other shape I do. So take good care, cover it up, and dry it evenly. Um, what I do is tomorrow the handle gets on it, I will cut it off, flip it over, and um, before I flip it over, I'll actually stick some plastic on it, then flip it over to slow down the rim drying, but let the base dry, uh, let it try to get ahead of the rims. So that's it. That's our soup and crackers for today. Hope you enjoyed that. It's a fun little piece, um, popular little piece. I hope you will follow us, like us, subscribe to us, and visit us on our website. If you want to see us throw something or there's a question that you have, please let us know. Message us and let us know, hey Sue, we'd like to see you throw up whatever it is. And I'd love to do that for you. So um, you dictate what, we, what kind of content we provide to you. So uh, we want to connect with you. We want to help you learn all about pottery. Um, you know, I talk about there have been many people in my life who got me to where I am and I'm getting older in life and it's time for me to start helping the next generation. Or even people who are older than me who just want to learn how to make pottery. Fine, give us a ring. We will be happy to help you here at Salvaterra Pottery. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed this lesson and uh, we will see you next time.